Our first year breaking overnight Southern California braces for more aftershocks after another powerful earthquake rocks the area. The magnitude 7.1 quake was felt from Los Angeles all the way to Nevada. <laughs> The latest earthquake happened just after 8 p.m. local time, caused ceiling lights to sway at this casino in California, about 90 miles east of Los Angeles. The quake also caused injuries, sparked fires, and closed roadways. And this roller coaster on the Las Vegas Strip could be seen swaying from the shockwaves as passengers on board made their way to the top of a 180-foot... Imagine being on that wow. as the earthquake is going on. Yeah, the quake was centered in the Mojave Desert near the town of Ridgecrest, which is still recovering from a 6.4 quake on the 4th of July. Carter Evans begins our coverage in Ridgecrest. Carter, I know you've been there since the very beginning. What are you feeling and what are you seeing right now? Well, we've been feeling a lot of shaking and we're seeing a lot of damage. This is what it looks like in the East Ridge market. The violent quake littered the aisles. Take a look on the other side over here. You can see all these wine bottles strewn all over the floor. It's scenes like this that are playing out throughout the region. A lot of wine came down. You could see it's all broken bottles. And we could just keep going all over the store. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Convenience store owner Tony Abdul Latif had just finished cleaning up from the last quake when his store in Ridgecrest was thrown into chaos yet again by a violent earthquake. His security video stops when the power went out. I would say it's like three, four times less than yesterday. So that much more. That much more. We definitely have an earthquake going on. The quake struck at 819 last night. It rattled Dodger Stadium while the home team took on the San Diego Padres. This is a very strong to, to rattle, earthquake. Strong Our colleagues at KCBS were caught off guard once again by the shaking. Only this time they were live on the air. Last night, 7.1 magnitude earthquake could be felt across the state. The car moved very strong like that. In my house, everything. I've been here for 28 years, and this is this is the worst. From Northern California to the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, where an NBA Summer League game was postponed. Officials in California are reporting injuries, some structural damage, and road closures as a result of the quake. Ridgecrest is having a pretty difficult time tonight. Seismologist Lucy Jones says there have been more than a thousand smaller quakes since a 6.4 magnitude earthquake rattled the same region on Independence Day. That shaker is now considered a foreshock to the much larger quake last night, now the largest to shake the region in two decades. Well, so far there are no reports of serious injuries or deaths. The governor has declared a state of emergency and search and rescue teams are going through the city. They're looking for anyone who might have been injured or trapped. The damage assessments are going to be pouring in throughout the day. And you know what? We're also going to be feeling those aftershocks. The seismologists say there is a very good chance we could feel aftershocks in the range of a magnitude 5 or even a magnitude 6. And they say there is a 1 in 20 chance that we'll have a bigger earthquake than the one we had last night.